for a long time we've had one audit facility. You could audit to the operating system or audit to the database. But then as time goes on, as requirements change, we introduce things like fine-grained auditing and other elements which were sort of bolt-ons to existing audit infrastructure. And as a result, DBAs were getting frustrated because you would look here for certain audit, you would look here for certain audit, look here for certain audit, etc. So unified auditing, as the name suggests, is to bring all that together under one umbrella. And that's pretty cool. There's a lot more power in the commands you have, and we'll see a demo of that shortly. Here's the question that came in, though, with regard to unified auditing. We need to audit when a table is accessed, but since in some parts of our application database, it's accessed extremely heavily, is it possible to audit the occurrence of just the first time in a session? Long story short, no, you can't do it declaratively. Now, when this first question came in, I thought, ah, oh, this will be easy. Because if you've ever created an audit policy, one of the things they have there is you say, create audit policy. For example, I'm going to call it grab Scott employee for any select on the Scott.employee table. And I can say evaluate it just per session rather than and the other option of per statement, etc. So it's just per session. And I thought this evaluate per session, I thought would do it just once per session. I was mistaken. Evaluate per session only makes sense in pairing with another clause that comes in with unified auditing when you're defining a policy, which is the when clause. And so these two things actually are bound together, which is if I have a when clause, i.e. I only want to audit a select on scott.emp when the user is, say, ask Tom, it's when do I evaluate that expression? Do I evaluate it just once per session? Do I evaluate it every time the statement is run? Because obviously the user doesn't change, but other things may change in this expression that might change during the lifetime of the session. So evaluate per session only exists under the wrapper or the boundary of evaluating this when clause. It's not how often we actually choose to grab the order information. I tried to come up with a workaround for this particular customer, and I thought I'd show it to you just in case you want to pursue something similar. And also, it's a, a useful way of seeing uh, unified auditing if you haven't moved to it yet in your databases. So I'm going to create a table called Customer Trans. Customer Transactions, it's just a copy of Scott.amp, just it's a brand new table so we can see our audit information nice and clearly. I'm going to create an audit policy called Capture Customer Trans whenever someone does a select on the Customer Trans table. I turn that policy on by Audit Policy. Now that, that policy is now active. This just shows how you find out where policies exist. It's in the Audit Unified Policies table with a policy name that says, yes, I'm doing a select. There's no when clause. I'm on the Customer Trans table. I jump on and I start running some queries. So I select from customer trans, I do a count star from customer trans, I do a max employee number from customer trans, just a few queries. I reconnect as SysDBA and normally I wouldn't have to run this. I only do this because the unified audit trail is kept in memory for performance reasons and flushed at regular intervals. So in order to make sure that I've flushed it out before I run a query, I've actually manually come along and said, look, just flush it out to make sure it's there. But normally this would happen automatically at regular intervals as memory gets under pressure. So that's one of the performance benefits of Unified Audit Trail. I flushed it out and you can see I did three queries and they were all captured. 9.35, 9.36, 9.36, so 2 p.m. all on customer trans. So we can see that, that every time I access it, it's being dumped into the audit trail and this is what someone's trying to avoid. I'll turn off the audit policy and I'll try to come up with a better option. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a context variable, which is defined as global, which means all sessions can see the same values to see if I can uh, manipulate the way my auditing is working. So I'll create a context called AudCTX and it's accessed globally. All sessions can share it. I'm going to create a very simple package to actually control the values inside that context. So turn a table on, turn a table off, and we'll see how that is used shortly. Table on is pretty simple. I simply set a context variable inside my context with the upper of the table name, and I set the value to one. Really, it's just the existence of a context entry with the table name inside that context or CTX that I'm interested in. And I've got one table off as well, which simply sets it back to null. Now I'm gonna recreate my order policy to look inside that context every time I run a statement. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, look inside syscontext or ctx for the customer trans table because this is a policy on the customer trans table i could have multiple policies on different tables each one looking for a different context key and i'll see if it's null 
So if it's null, I'm gonna actually go and audit that information. I'll evaluate it every time someone runs it. My policy is created, let's turn that policy on. Once again, we can prove that the thing is there and now we actually have a statement level evaluation on there as well. I connect to Scott and I run select star from customer trans. Now I've done nothing with that context so far and therefore that should be captured. But this is what I would do. In the background, probably as a scheduler job, I would have something along these lines. I'm gonna simply go look through the unified audit trial, the thing that captures where all the audit records are, see if any user for the username of Scott and the object name is not null, I could obviously firm up this criteria if I wanted to. I'm assuming that any object in here is going to be a table. I'm gonna set the context variable for that table to be on. Effectively, I'm gonna put a one in the context variable customer trans. And therefore it says, I've now saying that customer trans has already been captured in my unified order trail because it exists in here. And now I'm gonna set this context variable. Remember my audit policy said, I only capture it if the context variable is null. So in theory, this context variable now should be set to one. So if I connect to Scott again and run some more queries, there's a count star from customer trans, there's a max emp no. If I go back to SysDBA, flush out my audit trail, what do I get? We have the three original records we captured before we enacted the policy, but now just a single extra row, bringing us to four rows in total. I've not captured all the subsequent queries to customer trans because a context variable has been set globally and therefore none of the sessions can actually, that when they evaluate the policy, we'll see that they've already at some stage captured it. It's a way of limiting the volume. Thank <laughs> you.